What's up, guys? Yeah, welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, there is tension in the system after Governor Wiki of River State exposed the fraud behind the One Nigeria. According to Wiki, this is a mother of all fraud as it has been going on for decades without anybody saying anything about it. Some people were aware of it, but they couldn't say anything at, about it because of the fear of being intimidated by EFCC and the federal might. But Governor Wiki have, have exposed this fraud. And guess what? This is going to shock you because this is nothing compared. In fact, other corruption cannot be compared to this one you are about to see right now as we speak. Now, listen to this video as Wiki exposes this fraud behind the one Nigeria. And then I'll be back to analyze this video. They collected 15.1 billion in the month of June and gave to us 4.17 billion. Where did 11 billion go to? Now, let me tell you, Lagos is unfortunate. Lagos is not the same party with me. It's not an issue of party. It's the issue of infraction of the constitution. It's the issue of carrying out illegality. I don't give a damn. So look at what Lagos. In the month of June, Lagos, the collector for Lagos, 46.4 billion. 46.4 billion. But see what Lagos got. Lagos got 9.3. Now let me tell you what can kind of produce in June. Can produce in June 2.8 billion, right? 2.8 uh, billion. Let me tell you what they give him. Can also got 2.8 billion. I mean, I mean, look at simple fraud. Alright guys, so that is it. So you can see the fraud going on in the system. But the most painful thing about this is that why is it that other past governors have not spoken about it? Is it that they are not aware of it? Or what the hell? Because even Lagos itself, Lagos itself is now applying to be joined in the suit with Governor Wiki against the federal government now. Is it that they were not aware of it? I mean, what is going on in the system? But I know that uh, Tinobu is af aware of this fraud. That was why when Buari came into government, he got some slots, and that slot was to appoint the APC national chairman and also to appoint the the chairman of FIRS. That was Fowler. That was removed because of fraud. So Tinobu knew that something is going on in FIRS. That was why he's, he was rather single-handedly appointed Fowler that was later indicted for fraud and removed. So, but the, the worst thing about it is that none of our governors in the past spoke about this. None of them said anything about it. I thank God for Wiki because the entire Southern governors are now waking up to their responsibility now. And again, this exposition is already shaking the entire north because this is a clear case of robbing Peter to pay Paul. Gombe State governor said that Wiki and Governor Samuelu of Lagos State who have picked up this case, should be their brother's keeper, you know. And you saw Governor Masari himself said he was going to uh, 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 appeal the ruling of the high court that ceded the uh, the VAT to the state governors. That was going to, I mean, it's a shame that Governor Masari of Casina State is doing nothing, is not innovative. And we can explore, you heard what we can say, Kano, a whole Kano, is only generating only 2.8 billion. Lagos generated 45 billion and only got 9 billion. You see, this is a this is real fraud. This is a mother of all fraud. What are they doing with other money? How transparent are they in the handling of this money? And yeah, they say they are fighting corruption and things are. I mean, I don't know. So, what do you guys think? Please drop your comment. Let me know what you think. And that is why you see people have been clamoring for division of this country because. It, things cannot work any longer again.